Imagine a world where you get feelings for someone you knew since childhood. You finish each other's sentences. You know everything about them, but then they say we're just friends. This is the friend zone. First off, wouldn't the friend zone make an excellent name for an arcade or roller rink? Get friend zone at the friend zone. Heck, it could be a great social media site. Maybe friend project would be bigger if it called itself the friend zone. Eh, missed opportunity. So I've never been friend zone before. That's right, I'm that good looking. So I know what you're thinking. I'm the least qualified person to talk about this. And you'd be right, but that's never stopped me before. And considering that I'm actually in a healthy relationship, I think I'm more qualified than 90% of the creepy dating coaches on YouTube. The friend zone is natural. If you have a bomber friendship with someone who is of the gender you're attracted to, I'd say there's a good chance there will be some feelings there and some. Sadly, these feelings aren't often reciprocated. And that's okay. Just means you're not meant to be. And if you truly care about them, you'll want your friend to get the best partner they can. If you don't care about their feelings and just want them to be with you, then that's not love, that's lust. And I don't care how many crappy Twilight fanfics you read on fanfic.net, it's not gonna happen. But what if you don't know if the feeling is mutual or not? You may think they are, but you're not sure yet. Well, you have a few options. You could keep your feelings hidden, torture yourself internally, and build a creepy altar to them in your closet, drink away all your problems at the bar. You know, on second thought, don't do that. Some people like the direct approach. It's like ripping off a band-aid. Sure, it hurts, but it's over quickly. Hey, would you rather be slapped across the face or have the Lego fairy lay sharpened Legos all over your bedroom? You don't have to be super direct. You can just be like, hey, wanna go on a date to the Olive Garden? I've got a coupon, so it won't cost you that much when you pay. Another option is you could get an ambassador. Have the person ask them how they feel. I don't really like this plan. You're friends for Pete's sake. Just ask them yourself. And what if they decide to play a prank on you and told you that there was a planned meeting for a date? Except they never show up. You're just waiting at Baskin Robin, alone, bitter, and sad. You can also just flirt. Flirting is easy and fun. It's lighthearted, and if your crush doesn't flirt back, you can X them off your possible spouse list. I do know that sometimes friends just flirt, but if you've never floated before, and all of a sudden you start flirting with them, they'll know what's up. This also gives them a less awkward way to reject you, as long as you stop the minute they show they're not interested. But hey, you can both play it off as a joke. And like I've said, if a friendship is real, it can survive a little awkward exchange. Or you could just clone them. That's the ultimate loophole. Thanks for watching, guys. Next week's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, not super different. It's going to be a bit like uh, my friend project video from a little while back. If you haven't seen that, find out how friend project is trying to make emo roar again. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.